Snakes! Hippos! In the peak of the dry! Woo! Cobras! Crocodile! Snakes, Komodo dragons, and tiger sharks! We go into tiger territory! These are the animals that we encounter on this adventure! It doesn't matter if they fly, crawl, slither, or swim. Nobody can bring you as close to these beautiful animals as Steve. Yeah! G'day, I'm Steve Irwin. We've been filming the Crocodile Hunter wildlife documentary films for years, and some of my most dangerous moments have been captured both on and off the camera. Between the scenes, on the scenes, behind the scenes, you name it, we've got a compilation of vision that you're about to see of my most dangerous encounters. For the most part, wildlife likes to keep its own space, in its own territory. But the only way we can learn about special animals and share them with you is to get right in there, right in the action. And sometimes it can be a bit dangerous. Whether it's tiger sharks under the ocean, crocodiles along a river, or cobras up a tree, Steve's first to get into it. He wants to learn about these animals and share it with the world. So stick around for some of Steve's more dangerous adventures. Sharks conjures up fear, just that very word. Well, I'm going to take you into tiger shark territory. One of my favorite locations for sharks is out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I built myself an aluminium shark cage and I took it out there in my dinghy to try and study, get an understanding, get a passion and awareness of one of the greatest, most awesome predators of our ocean, the tiger shark. Mind you, they scared the living daylights right out of me. They made the dinghy that Terry was sitting in look like a tin can bobbing on the ocean. Crikey, they're big. And once there's food in the water, they hit hard, real hard. Have a look at this. I've had some pretty close encounters with tiger sharks through the years while I've been diving and snorkeling around my coastline. They cause me fear. They cause me to shake. And for good reason, they have been known to attack, kill, and eat people. So this is tiger territory, one of the hottest spots I know of for tiger sharks. And I tell you what, I want to use the safety of a cage, because I find uh, tiger sharks one of the most awesome, one of the most fearsome predators of the ocean. I don't think they're evil, ugly monsters that kill people, but I just want to uh, get the feel for them before I take the risk, if I take the risk, of getting outside the cage. Here we go. I knowingly enter tiger shark territory. I've seen a lot of tiger sharks over the years in this particular area. And we're throwing little bits of bait in to try and lure them to the cage where I can have a good close look at them. Tiger sharks grow huge and they have been documented to kill and eat people. But that doesn't make them an evil, ugly monster. And here comes the first take. We just, there's just one dorsal fin I can see. And our weight pays off. One dorsal fin, two. Pretty soon, there's several big steamer sharks coming. The baits worked. They come straight for the boat. They're inquisitive. Now hopefully with the food out, not only will we get a close look, but we'll get to see some feeding behavior. 
nothing but nothing conjures up more fear than a shark's fin cutting through the water when you're sitting in it or so close to it. Look at the size of this one! Closely followed by another one. There's at least six sharks, maybe seven sharks. And they're coming in closer and closer, circling, taking it all in, looking with those big black eyes. The first thing that I've noticed now in this study is that they're not coming in like some blind attacking predator just going straight for the throat, straight for the kill. They're checking it out. They're slow, methodical and inquisitive. They really like the look of Terry in that dinghy. She's coming right in. Here's one right now. Big female. We're going to have to be careful, really careful. This is no place to make a mistake. These things are huge, averaging 12 to 14 feet. Right at the boat. The bulk, the depth of them, they're massive. Ooh, now they're coming at me. Another big female. Monster female. Look at the size of her! These are some big fish! She makes that dinghy look like a coke can. She is massive! Huge big fish! I couldn't even estimate how big she is. Now Steve's got an open top on the cage, so as they're jiggling it, it's very intimidating. If the cage rolls at all, they'll have a wide open just to go right through, so it's a little bit daunting. Terry's worried about me, I'm worried about her. If only she knew how small that dinghy looks from under the water. Look at the size of this shark compared to the dinghy. Two of them, three of them. They dwarf the dinghy. Those big, blunt heads raise the sharp teeth and the black eyes. Oh, look at this. Sussing me right out. Woo! Careful, Steve-O. Don't let your arm fall out of that cage. This is incredible. And scary. I'm scared for Terry as the sharks get bolder and bolder, hitting the dinghy with intention. There's more sharks than I can count. Every way I turn my goggles, I can see sharks. And the casual, timid nature of the shark. Incredible to see. They're not ferociously attacking with gusto and pace and aggression. They casually come up to the bait, bite, jump down, and pull and swim away. Look at this one, upside down. of that one. It's that same huge big female. Have a look at the size of the sharks compared to Terry's dinghy. This one is massive. Huge. Here they go. Right around. They're biting the outboard. Whoa, they're starting to get a bit of rivalry, a bit of aggression between the sharks. This big female, she's got right away. All of the others give her a wide berth. She feeds first. There's obviously a structure in this feeding mode. <laughs> 